So today I'm gonna to show you how to use Forescan to program your new cluster when you swap from a cluster without attack to a cluster with attack, like I had this base model cluster. Um, my car doesn't have ABS. The cluster I got uh, came from a car with ABS. So I'm gonna to have to show you how to use Forescan, kind of go in the as-built data for the IC module and write it with the as-built data from Motorcraft's website. Um, this won't, this won't really apply to you if your car has ABS, just doesn't have attack and the similar car has the similar features and everything, but my car doesn't have ABS, new car had ABS. So all the time I had my ABS light and my brake light on and it was really annoying. And this saves you from having to cheap out and just put electrical tape on it. This shows you how to do it the right way. So we're going to go over here. I have four scan pulled up already. You're going to go here you go to the bottom where it says connect to vehicle, connect to vehicle, make sure all these conditions are met. Okay, I have a vehicle saved already, so it's gonna pop up right here. And I'll click yes, load that. And we're connected, so we're gonna go over here to configuration and programming, click that. I see module configuration as built format, down here, hit play. Changing configuration is potentially not safe, but we're gonna be getting the data from Motorcraft. So as long as you do it the right way and use the exact numbers that Motorcraft says for your VIN, then we'll be good to go. So we're gonna hit okay. And we only have one line we can edit. So we're gonna go over here, Motorcraft's website, and we're gonna to go to free resources, quick guides, you go down and scroll to module build data as built. And then we're going to get our VIN number, which I already have. So let me go get that. So we're gonna copy the VIN I have saved in my notepad, paste here. Do the little security check. And then it's gonna give us all of our information, PCM, GEM, ICM, RCM. So we're gonna take 7200101 and it needs to read 2000 quad zero four nine. So go back over to four scan. And you see I have it here, 2000 quad zero four nine, because I just did it. So if you made any changes, I'll just clear out 49 and put 49 again. And then hit right. No changes, nothing to do. But obviously, if you had changes, there'd be something to do. It would say cycle key off and on. And then once you start your car, you'll see that there are no ABS and brake lights anymore. And everything's good to go. Um, so that's how you do that and get your lights off your dash without having to use electrical tape and doing it the cheap way when you can just use Forescan. If you don't know a whole lot about Forescan, there's forums out there. There's other YouTube videos on it from other channels. It's basically just Ford's version or it's like a version of Ford's software that's free. Um, Subscription is like $12 a year. And I went and got the OBD Link EX cable off Amazon is about $60, I believe. And it's like the best one you can get. It's with the, one of the ones they recommend on their website. Um, I will go ahead and put the link for the OBD Link EX and the Forescan download in the description. Uh, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.